All right, guys, welcome back to Seopolis with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, today we are gonna auto, we're gonna set up the auto crafting for the auto crafters. Yes, that might sound a little confusing, but I promise it is. So, last episode, we went ahead and set this area up here, this area and this area. Uh, we have the plates and gears. They can be automated. All we gotta do is just put the recipe in here, which is amazing. Uh, so, we're gonna be working on automating these guys the induction smelters and then we're going to set up a whole bunch of other guys i'm pretty sure we're going to go with four induction smelters because there's a lot of stuff that we could be doing and then i uh, also want to show you guys another thing we went ahead and i set up off camera here uh we were running low on slime blocks so i went ahead and set up a mob slaughter factory here uh, we're not going to grab that. Let's see. So with the mob slaughter factory, it's pretty simple. Uh, pretty easy to make if we look here. Uh, just a pity machine frame, plastic gold, two iron swords, and two iron axes with a redstone. And what this does is it slays mobs and turns them into something called pink slime. Uh, now we take the pink slime, we pump it into this boy over here, the dissolution chamber. Uh, so we just go pink like that and this guy will create pink slime balls for us yes very cool so we had 54 buckets in there it only uses 300 billa buckets so we get three slime balls per bucket 54 times three you do the math it's like 162 or something like that um, so it's a lot pretty neat uh, but now we just put this back it should fill up quite a bit again all the, oh, sorry, 56 buckets. So, yeah, it's uh, a little different there, but uh, very helpful for getting slime balls. Uh, there should be a way that we can actually automate this later on. We're going to be working on that. We'll have to set up a completely separate little private area. Um, and you might be thinking, hey, why don't you just do that now? Well, we're waiting. Um, you might be thinking, hey, you, you can do that if you go to the store and buy one of those eggs, the rotten egg, because this turns dirt into dreadful dirt, and that spawns a whole bunch of dudes. Well, that's 30 sea bucks, and we're saving it. We need 200 so that once we go to the Twilight Forest, we can spend all of our sea bucks here. All, we need 200. We can get the, uh, the scale, and this will allow us to build up higher than two blocks and so we'll be able to get the windmills up higher get those guys rolling so that's definitely what we're going to want to go ahead and do later on but let's go ahead and get started with automating the automation so we're pretty much just going to automate the crafter and we do need quite a few patterns for this um so we're going to need the first thing we're going to want to go ahead and automate is the production of the quartz enriched iron uh, and the reason we want to do that is because that is the gatekeeper for the rest of this basically um, yeah we, we we need a lot of this so looks like we're using three getting four this is a very easy recipe that we can set up uh, but we're gonna need to make a crafter for this in order for that to craft it if that makes sense it's kind of crafting exception uh, so we can just go like that. We'll have to go ahead and make a pattern for those. Uh, but yes, we have the required materials. Uh, bam, those guys there. Cool. And then recipe for this. Should be able to do that. Yep, yep. Okay, so if we put the pattern for this here, we should be able... Oop, my head cap's on. We should be able to click this and go, hey, we need one of those. It'll craft it. Bam. There we go. That's going to be for our system, which we desperately need. We also need to get importers automated as well. All right. Just like this. And then we'll go ahead and get these guys automated as well, because that's just crafting, crafting, crafting. So now the importers should be able to be auto automated. Let's say three of them. Yep, we do have every, all of the materials. We can see here that, yep, it is working. And by the way, I did switch up the the recipe for the overworld matter. Now it's doing uh, three times the amount. It's doing 60 per all of those. And then I went ahead also and added 
So uh, three extra of these, so it's doing five every time. So this thing is Holland Boutte. And the cool thing is, even if we, you know, I don't think it'll ever process that. It hasn't yet, like what, it grabs the clay or anything. Um, but yeah, it's definitely working better. We're getting 75 or 70 blocks. So yeah, it's moving much quicker. We are actually, oh, let me show you guys. We're, we're running out of space in this guy. Let's see. Yeah, 28,000 overall matter, and then we have three of these guys running. So we might need to automate the ability for these guys to eat and produce through that faster uh, so that we can process up the rest of our things. So really awesome there. Let's go ahead and continue on with what we were doing. So we got the crafter. The importer should be done. Yes, sir. All right, sweet. Uh, uh, yep, we have everything up there already. Okay. So, let's see if we can place this right the first time. That is not correct. Try one more time. Yes! Look at that. First try. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you here. Ha ha ha! Couldn't attack back because he's a wimp. Okay. So, there we go. Importers there. I believe we're missing just one. Nope. We are good to go. Okay. So, we can go ahead and put our recipe in. All right, and then we're going to set the input to be on the left, and then we're going to set the output to be on the back. So now the re, re the quartz enriched iron should be able to be auto crafted like so. Why do you need iron dust? I didn't want the iron dust. Did I mess up the recipe? Oh my gosh, how did I mess that up? Looks like we're going to have to do it again. All right, so recipe. All right, shift in the scroll wheel should allow us to find the right one. It's not doing it. We're going to have to do it kind of manually on this one. So let's do this. Uh, quartz, not 64, frick. Man, why has it got to be difficult like that? So it's a 1 to 3, so we can get rid of that. Get this. Bam, okay. So there we go. Throw that guy away because it's garbage. Oh, wait. Did that go back in? Oh, it did. We can recreate something with it. Cool. Okay. So now if we put that in, we can come back here. Iron. Let's just say a stack. All right. It seems to be working. Yes, sir. Perfect. All right. So cool. We got that guy automated. So that means that the crafter, if we wanted to make 10 of these, what are we missing? Okay. So we don't have the construction core. So let's go ahead and automate or get a pattern for that. We should be able to go pink and do this. Very cool. Construction core. That's just crafting. So we can put it here. All right, so let's see. What else did we need for 10 crafters? We need to, oh, we need to also do that as well. Okay, so let's get a few more of the patterns created. Here we are. Put those guys back. 57 patterns. Amazing. Okay, so here we are. Bam. Those are all automated now, so we can put that there. So let's see. Crafter. We want to make 10 of them. We sure can. Makes the plates. We do have a gear. We do need to go ahead and automate the gear. We do have patterns for that. So let's go ahead and work on that. Let's see. Gear. So we'll do a copper gear. Oh, no. Bad. Copper gear. Then we'll do gold gear. Get that out of here because it's already there. We'll do an iron gear or not. Yeah, our diamond gear. Uh, we need bronze. All right, and then we'll do iron as well. I haven't. I don't think we've used any of the other gears yet, um, but it doesn't mean we won't be able to, you know, use them later on. So gears, put all those in there. So now the gears are automated. So cool, guys. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be great. All right, the crafters are done. Yes, sir. We have all 10 of our crafters right here. So we can place this there. It'll work. Place this there. It'll work. Oh, man, how much power are we using? 
252 per tick. That ain't bad at all. Okay. I need some blockies. All right, so now the top guy, we can now put items in, and he's all good to go. Sweet. All right, so what else do we want to go ahead and automate? Hmm. Let's see. All right, so we got three more of the C bucks. We're up to 121. All right, we only need all of them to go. Very cool. I wish you could sell things. That would be so cool if you could sell things. Um, What is blocking this? Oh, tier two seeds. Okay. All right, guys. So something that we have been waiting for a long time is the wireless crafting grid. This is what we are making next. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this guy crafted up. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. If we do the control click, yes, we can go ahead and ask those to be crafted. Yeah, look at that. Plates. It's, it's creating. Oh, man. So cool. So let's go ahead. Wireless transmitter. Bam. There we go. That's done. And then we're going to do the wireless crafting grid. This guy here. A. Hey. Or not. Yes, there it is. Okay. So it does require us to make another one of these. So we'll get one of those crafted up. And it's so cool, you can just be like, hey, we need these automated, and the system's like, okay, I'll do it. Thank you, come again. That's so great. Oh, man. Oh, we also need to do all of the alloys as well. Okay. So, oh, we need a crafting grid is what we need. Okay. Crafting grid. We just need a crafting table. And booyah, we have another grid. Okay. So now all we need is some more of those guys. And boom, wireless crafting grid has been created. Cool, y'all. Okay, so let's put this in a cool looking spot. This looks pretty cool to me. And I believe you just like what? Right click the, oh yeah, you go. Okay, it's out of energy. That's fine. We can come over here, charge that guy up, and boom. So we do have the ability now to look at our crafting grid wherever we're at. Uh, it does use power, though, so we'll have to look at a, an option for that. I believe with Flux Networks, we do have the ability to do that. If we add in a main controller, or let's see. Yeah, Flux Controller. Let's go ahead and try this guy out. Flux Block. Flux dudes. Oh man, we need to make a bunch more uh, dudes. That's weird. Don't 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 listen to me. Um, I'm going to put a hopper on that because the hopper will allow us to continue to pump out those guys. Cool beans. There we go. That hopper. Cool cool. All right. So bam. This is our the blaze guy. We need a drawer like this. All right, drawer. Oh man, how do we get up there? We we use our crafters. There we go. I didn't need to jump on that last one. Don't judge. All right, and then just blaze powder. And that'll start trickling in. If we do this, <laughs> now we don't have to worry about it. Cool, cool. Okay, so we'll go ahead and fill that guy up. And we'll grab a bunch more so that it's kind of automated. I don't know if it has enough to hold everything, but it does have the five extra inventory slots down below. So it might not be a bad idea, you know what I mean? Let's see. Yeah, it didn't. Okay. So yeah, look, only only a couple in there. Cool. So those have been that's been semi automated. We're gonna grab some buckets here. Oh, we got three of them. Cool beans. All right, and then just click, click, pow. So now we have the three buckets of Molten Blaze. Do not make the Blaze Rods, please. We need Ender Pearls in there. It means we're going to have to make another hopper. 
Uh, it was already up there. I feel dumb. All right, wooden hopper. That's made. Iron hopper. I guess normal hopper. Oh, yeah, guys, check it out. We have over 2,000 iron ingots now. Isn't that amazing? Since we set this up, I've been AFK for quite a bit from time to time. Uh, and so I just let that thing kind of run. And it's been giving us lots of goodies. Okay, so I'm going to go grab some ender pearls now. Um, ooh, I was just thinking... I didn't put that guy back, but it's not full. That's okay. All right, so let's grab a bunch of these. We'll put these. We'll put them in there, and then they'll automate the eyes of Ender. Well, I didn't think as much as it can. Not, not this. Okay, so now we can click that on. That'll continue to make for us, and then we can grab a drawer again because drawers are so helpful. Put that on top of the hopper, and then we're off to the races. Bam. Get in there, Ender Pearls. So that'll continue to fill. And now we're getting the Eyes of Ender. Very cool. So we're going to come over here. And we should have... Yep, we have Obsidian there. Very cool. A full stack of Obsidian, too. Man, that's fantastic. Okay. So let's get that Flux Controller. Uh, this guy here. We're going to need lots of those. All right, 12. I don't know if that's enough. What's this? So we need one, two, three, four, five flux blocks. One, two, three. Yeah, we need a little bit more Eyes of Ender. But they have been going over here for the 10, 20 seconds we haven't been here. So we're good. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Cool. All right, flux core. Bam, another 28. Cool. So a lot more than we needed. All right, so we just need, what, two more? Yes, sir. And then now we have everything for the flux controller. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I don't know where we're supposed to put this. But if we do that, I believe this is okay. So this should... Is this at 100%? No. Uh, search mode, chunk loading. Enable wireless, apply. Hey, look at that, 100%. So now we are being charged by this all the time. Yes, sir. So now we can use this. Okay, amazeballs. So let's go to at refined storage. We're going to look at the range extender. Where are you at? Range upgrade. Here we go. That's what we need. That's what we want. Upgrade. I wish it would allow you to make more than just, you know, the basic one. Okay, so that should be good. We can make more of the upgrades now, or just one upgrade, I guess. Um, let's see about getting those processors kind of moving along a little bit more. We'll just do 10 of them right now. Okay. So here's a... Okay. Um... Venidze iron, like so. Okay, so we should have everything we need for that. Perfect. All right, range add-on. So 16 blocks, 24. That was not a whole lot. Okay, let's try again. So we got three of those. 48 blocks. So how far is far? I don't know. Can we do it here? Yes, we can. We do it. Nope, we're out of range. All right, so this is the limit. Okay, so we do need a bit more enable or so we can get more in our base. I believe there's an infinity one as well if we use nether or nether stars. Uh, let's have a look. If we go uses, should be a range. There it is. Oh, that's a dimensional card. Never mind. So this one. Infinity range booster. Yeah, so look at this. Nether star. Three, okay, so this is easy. This is difficult. Nether star. Nether star infused nether hiding. Get Holy crap. Okay, so we need to kill lots of those guys in order to get the infinite. But I think we're good here for now uh, with the range that we are at. Yeah, because we can be down here. But like, hey, we need something. Bam, we're here. Uh, we're going to... Oh, we need this to be normal. All right, and then we want this to be large, so 
It is perfect. It is exactly what we wanted. Is there a way? And there. Oh, zoom. Ooh, a compressed skeleton over in our farm over there. He did. All right, so we're going to finish off the industrial foregoing section here. You guys have seen me make these. We're going to make the machine frame. This is going to require two of these guys, which is going to require two of those. So we can also automate the pity, pity dude. This guy here. Uh, no processing. Res B. Bam. Okay, so this guy is now auto-crafted. Uh, I, oh, I also want to do the speed upgrades for refined storage. Uh, because those are going to be super handy. Uh, so recipe like this. And then recipe like so. Alright, so we'll do this over here. And then this one over here. So let's do speed upgrades. Okay, so we've already got a few. We can give one of these to each of them. And this will allow us to just craft things quite a bit quicker. Uh, so let's have a look here. Speed upgrade. Can we make 20? We sure can. Cool, that's gonna be a lot of speed. I am speed, and look, it is crafting here pretty quick. Um, we're also gonna go ahead and do all of the alloys. Um, so, Invar, like so, recipe. We need to do induction smelter. And get rid of, get rid of those. One, two, bam, okay. So that's there. Um, let, I'm just gonna do everything for the components because I wanna get these guys automated. Uh, that's the goal. Okay, so those. Okay, so it just says gold gear, so that should be fine. So this one, the hardened component should be good to go. We'll put that guy in there because that's the crafting one. Put this guy over here, um, like so. Do we have any upgrades? We do. We actually have the second tier one. All right, so now we're going to be working on getting this guy automated. Okay, and then recipe like this. Get rid of that. All right, recipe. Believe this is the thing we're going to have. Nope, not yet. All right. So the gear goes here. Do we already have that gear in there? We don't. Cool. All right. Induction smelter. This guy. And then the automation or the crafting. Bam. Right there. Okay. So there's that dude. Recipe. Hardened glass. All right, that one feels kind of fishy. And then aluminum like this. And then to create the aluminum like this. Okay, we got everything we need for that as well. Uh, we're also going to need to do one more thing I'm just thinking of. Uh, the gear, right? And then hardened glass, that's just crafting, but we do need to set up one for the uh, charges. If we go like this. Okay, so we do need to set that guy up as well. Induction smelter. Yes, sir. I keep doing that. I'm so used to going down the same way, but I have this as a directional. So what the directional elevators do is every time, so say, look, I'm looking the opposite way. If I go down, now I'm looking this way. So basically, whatever, wherever the arrow is pointing, that's where you're going to be looking when you uh, teleport to that elevator. All right, so the final step here is actually with the Lumium. No. That's with the hardened glass here. Uh, we need to set this guy up. All right. And so now we should be able to do component. Let's craft up one of these guys. Bam, already got one. Let's craft up, say, two more. We'll let this process. 
Okay, you know what? We're gonna do three more while we're here. Okay, so we're missing ender pearls. We do need to set up a drawer controller for over here. Um, well, not really a drawer controller, but we need to find a way to have this guy get registered, and I think the best way for that... Uh, we're just gonna grab the ender pearls. All right, that's all we got left. Running low. We're gonna have to switch off the uh, the slaughter factory there. All right. So ender pearls go in. Components. There we go. And this will give us our final one. And da -da -da -da. come on, almost done. I hear him processing down there. All right, so do you have, you do not. So we are gonna swap that out. Oops. We're gonna swap that guy out. And we're gonna swap that guy out. Do we have anything? Yes, we do. Okay, we need to get upgrades into those guys as well. Man, this is going to take a bit. Okay, one, two, three, four. Do we have enough for four? We do. Cool. Okay. Um, so the machines that are being used right now are definitely ones I want upgraded. So that's at max. We'll switch this one out. It should be faster now. Cool. And then we're going to get those coils that make it faster. That's not the right thing. Thermal, this guy here. Uh, the Flux Amplifier. So we're going to do that. Oh, we're going to automate this. Well, we can't really automate it. Weird. Oh, it's probably just telling me that there's auto crafting available. Okay. Well, I guess we can make that a little bit faster now in order to help us out with our production. Cool. All right, guys, so now we're going to be focusing on trying to automate these redstone flux coils. Uh, so we're going to have to steal our little system here. We're going to re like basically make this purposely uh, for that. Because um, that's pretty much all we really need it to do at this point. We can keep that there. We're going to grab this guy and this guy. We're going to be moving this down to where we have automated... Um, lava setup so over here in this little area we're gonna be rooming over here so we're gonna have to get kind of cozy and we need an importer and a crafter which we do have so importer we got one of those and then do we have any speed upgrades available Ooh, yes we do one two three four all right crafter there you is and the cool thing is, is we already have cable down there, so it should be pretty easy for us to get this going. Um, so down here, hmm, we're gonna need to have a chest and a logistical sorter. Okay, nope, not that logistical sorter and some cable. All right, so this should be fairly easy. Okay, so we're gonna put this guy, um, well, let's see. We need this guy to be relatively close. So we're gonna put this guy here um, so that we can go like this for the importer. So anything that gets processed and finished up in there is good to go. And then the start will be a bit higher. So this guy is gonna be here. And then, did we grab the tank? All right, so the sear tank was laying on the ground. I was able to find it, thank goodness. And we're gonna place this guy here. And then we do actually need to grab some pipe because we're gonna be stealing the lava from our other system here. We're just gonna use the elite mechanical pipe. And over hither, if we go like this. Oh shoot, that is not what I intended. Go like this. How do I get the lava out of here? Um, break it maybe? Hey, breaking it worked. 
All right, these are going to produce lots of lava pretty quickly, so we don't really need to worry about that, which is good. All right, and then the chest will... I thought I was in lava. will need to be here. The logistical sorter here. And then... I'm going to run one of the cable all the way down. Like this. We need to make sure it's not connect... Oh, frick. Why are they like this? Oh, that's mechanical pipe. I need item. All right. We need the we need the speedy boy, not the slowy boy. All right, we're gonna break this up. There we go. And unfortunately, we have to do it like this. Um. Shoot, we need this one taller. Actually, we don't need to do it like this. Actually, we do need to kind of do it like that, but we need it one taller. Okay. So this will go hither. I will go up here. We'll place this dude here. Break this guy. And then this goes here. And then we grab this. Alright, and because this is pointed in, we need to associate this, say, to blue, and then we need to run cable down here. And then we need to associate this cable to green, right? So this is going to take out those specific ones. And the reason why we have to have this coming out here is because... If we want a certain item to get here, it can't pass through this, so it has to go around. Uh, so we can just disconnect that there and that. Oh, we actually, we can leave that connected. We just get rid of that one. Uh, and so there it, it can go around. We can also frick this. <laughs> uh, let's do, just so it looks better. Like it looks like it has a purpose. Uh, so now it go, either goes this way or it goes down. And so the logistical sorter, cool. All right, so green is associated, new filter, item stack, this guy green. So any time we have these guys in. Okay, look at that, look, it's already in there. So now that is, and then the blue is associated to gold. Um, so we need two. So it's two to one. That's down, that's right. Okay, so gold, we'll do new filter, item tag, gold goes to blue. And then for you, inject on, single on. Why? Oh, do we need a, a specific item? Don't tell me you can't automate it like that. Frick, that's not what I wanted. So blue. But you could, we put it in with a hopper. All right, so I grabbed an item shoot here and we're gonna see if this makes a difference at all. Um, I, I honestly don't think it will. Yeah, it doesn't work. We might just need to pump it into a hopper and kind of revamp this a little bit. Um, That kind of sucks. Well, no, because these items went right into it. Uh, so maybe allow default on. Is this blue? Cyan, maybe? Do... Oh, frick. We didn't even have any gold in there. That's probably why it wasn't working. We didn't have any gold, that's why. Oh my gosh. Sometimes, guys, I feel like I don't have a brain. Oh my goodness, you guys are probably yelling at me. Turtle, you need to have gold in order to have gold. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Oh man, be nice. So, one, two, plus one of these. Do we have a flux coil? Good deal. Equals this, okay. So processing, 
2 plus 1 equals this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try this out. And put this guy in here. We're going to put the speed upgrades into this guy. Okay, so this thing needs a faucet. We need a block hither with a lever lever. All right, so that's gone. Ooh, look at that. Already worked again. Super cool. Um, I want to get all of the gold out of this thing, or all of the, the stuff we have out. Actually, we probably just want to click this. How much we got in there? All right. So now the ratios are set back to what they were. We're going to go ahead and set up a recipe for this in one of our induction smelters. And so this should be the flux coil 100% automated now. So we're going to put this guy in the top because there's less there. All right. So let's see if it's working. Flux coil. We're going to take all of these guys out. Let's say we'll do 10 of them. We should be processing here. Gold should be melting up. How are we looking in here? Okay, so all of the required materials should be in there. This thing won't smelt over what it can do. And it should be the perfect ratio. Oh man, perfect. Okay, so that was the last one. There's nothing left in here, and that is done. Okay, we have automated the flux coils. So cool. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the episode for today. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But up in your top right of the screen, you should see a video playlist. You should go ahead and check that out. It's all of the series up until this point. Have a good time. I'll see you guys next episode coming to you in two days. Peace out. Bye-bye.